This video will teach you how to install and configure the MA8100A Neon Signal Mapper. All of the information contained in this video can be found on the MA8100 Quick Start Guide. The Quick Start Guide is located on the MA8100A page on the Enritsu website. To access this page, go to enritsu.com, click on the search button, and type MA8100A. Once you're on the MA8100A page, go to the Library tab and click on the Quick Start Guide. Now you can download the guide for your reference. Software Installation The first step in the software installation is to check your email for the welcome message. Click on the Register for Neon button. Enter the email address associated with the account. Pick a password and then press sign up. You will then be asked to verify the email. Check your email and press the verify button. Once your account has been verified, you can log in with your username and password. From here you can download the software. Click the download link and pick neon command. Once the software is done downloading, you can run the installer. Follow the prompts and install the Neon Command software. Once it is finished, you can start the software. The first time you run the software, you will have to log in with your username and password. The command software is now ready for you to use. The next step is to install the Signal Mapper software for your Android device. To do so, go to your Android device, start up a web browser, and go to neon.trxsystems.com. Log in with your username and password. From here, you can download the two application packages required to run the Signal Mapper on your Android device. The first one is the Neon Location Services. Click on the link and download it. It will download an APK package. You can open that package and sideload the application to your Android device. Because you will be sideloading an application package, your Android device will ask you to override some security settings. Follow the prompts on the screen and install the packages. Do the same for both sets of packages. Once you're done, you can find the application in your Applications menu. If you want it onto one of your home screens, drag it out of your applications and put it on one of your home screens. You can then start the application by clicking on it. Once the application is started, it will log into the server and verify your account. You will then need to set up the tracking device with this account. To do this, turn on the Neon tracking device. Open the location settings and go to the Bluetooth settings screen. Find your tracking device and connect to it. Then select the tracking device from the tracking units and enable the tracking your Android device is now ready to start mapping. 